Hi, my name's Camille Bauer, and I am here in my yarn store in Western Utah. And I'm excited to show you today how to knit and bind off knitwise. Now you're ready to end your project. That's why you'd be binding off. So first things first, you're going to knit two stitches, just like you're starting a regular row. Now here's what happens when we go to bind off. We're going to take the bottom loop, so the first stitch you've just knitted that's closest to your thumb, and you're going to bring it up and over and drop it off your needle. Now because we're binding off knitwise, we need to go and knit another stitch. And again, we have two stitches on our right needle. We're going to take the bottom one that's closest to your thumb, pull it up and over, and drop it off. When you bind off, you always need to have two stitches on your right needle. And how do we get that, two sti that second stitch? If we drop off, we always need to scoop and get one from the left needle. So again, we've got the two stitches. I'm pulling the bottom stitch closest to my thumb, up and off. Now, because we're binding off knitwise, we go and knit another stitch onto the right needle, pull it up and over, drop it off. To me, binding off is one of the funnest, easiest things to do. And I'm sure once you give it a try, you'll think so too. So now here I am. Lots of people at the end kind of get mixed up. What should they do? I've got one stitch on one needle, one on the next. Well, you go and knit the last stitch on the left needle. So now you have an empty needle on the left side, which is perfect, exactly what you're supposed to have. Then you take the bottom stitch closest to your thumb, pull it up and over, and drop it off. Then you grab your scissors. You can pull that loop a little bit bigger, but then you put the tail in the hole, give it a little tug. There you go. Now you've learned to bind off knitwise. Thanks for watching and happy knitting.